Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is the Dad Delivers vlog where we try something new every day and today I'm trying this. It doesn't look like it yet, but I'm trying to build an L-shaped bench, a booze, I don't know what you'd call it, a bonquette, some kind of L-shape dining table bench thing. I think this video is going to be more of a talky, talky vlog. I've been doing a lot of how-to videos lately and this is going to be uh, a bit more vloggy. I started this, this is what it looks like at the moment. The frame of the first part of the L, the L of the L shape is going okay, but I didn't know it would end up this way. So that's why I didn't film it because I was kind of working it out as I went along. That you can see my, this is my, <laughs> these are my calculations here. And I, I know that the bench bit that you sit on is gonna be 40 centimeters wide. So everything else has been based on working backwards from that. And that's what this pad is trying to show. It looks like a, a bit of extreme woodwork, but actually it's some extreme mathematics. I've just been doing like four hours of maths, trying to work back from, <laughs> from having a top of 40 centimeters all the way back to the wall. Obviously the walls aren't straight. And then I had to, I forgot about the skirting board, so I had to factor a, the gap from the wall caused by the skirting board. But this is the shape that I'm going for. It's kind of a box construction, and I'm using stud work. I'm using this wooden stud work that I've got from, from Wix. Didn't buy enough. <laughs> so we've just been to, to Wix this morning to, to buy some more struts there. I don't know if I can explain this, you'll see it from the, the footage here. I've got two trays, one at the top and one at the bottom, they're connected by these four legs. So the legs take the load, but the load is kind of spread across the two trays at the top. And I'm at a crucial point in the construction here, as you can see. Oh, you can move it around. I guess I should nail it and screw it to the wall, but the walls aren't straight, so I want to get the top on first before I work out what to do with that. But I like the, the idea that there's going to be storage under here, and I'll show you what I'm thinking there as I go. But obviously, the next the next thing I've got to do is the, the other part of the L. If I move the table back like this, I've got our old IKEA bench. By the way, there's a video about how to put up one of these IKEA benches. It's on screen now and in the description. If I move this to where the other bit of bench is going to go, it's gonna kind of look like this. And it's gonna run up to as far as the shelf, the windowsill there. So I've now got to build another box and that means that I can do that on camera and uh, we'll do it as a speed build. <laughs> you can live vicariously through my furniture carpentry. I bought a tool, I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I've been using the jigsaw, whoa, like this. I've been using a jigsaw to cut all of the pieces and thankfully I've managed to guide it fairly straight but it's not really straight and it is difficult to to make the bench true even with the wonky walls and wonky floor so i've got this i might give this a try this is a compound mitre saw uh, it might take me longer to put it up than it would to just saw it the rest of it by jigsaw should we do an unboxing let's do an unbox let's do a quick unboxing so this is the compound mitre saw if you've not used one before it basically saws in dead straight lines you can get them from amazon i'll put a link down in the description by the way this is the hottest day of the year it isn't just like the hottest day of the year it's the hottest day since records began so it's a bit of a national emergency that i'm uh, doing this heavy duty diy in i have no idea how to put this together Enough talk, let's put it to the test. I'm gonna cut the next beam, the next bit of stud work to go onto the L-shaped bench. I don't know why I make these videos. I think it's to, uh, to somehow uh, find meaning in my life. <laughs> Friend would show me this. If I rub a candle, or in this case, a tea light along the blade, the, the wax melts as it goes through the wood and it helps it to glide across and uh, brings the friction down makes it slightly easier to saw. There, so it's, it's, that's great. It cuts it really straight, but it takes a lot longer than the jigsaw. I 
is so much quicker. <laughs> I don't think you can see it on camera. But it's, that's good enough. That looks straight. Feels straight. Next, I need to cut the pieces of wood that go between these to turn it into a tray. I'll go back now to using the mitre saw. I'd like to say it's so that the middle bits have to be dead accurate, but actually it's probably because I just don't want to feel like I've wasted my money and a trip to the, <laughs> to the store to get the mitre saw. Now I get to cut the legs. Should we go for a different angle? Now, cut all the wood. It's time to screw it all together and try and do that in a way that's really straight. I've got my own little weird system going here, but it works for me, where I'm gonna put the trays together by pushing them against the wall and pushing them into the corner of the wall to use that as, even though the walls aren't especially straight, but at least I've got something straight and true to push against when I'm screwing the battens, these studs together. I'm pre-drilling holes just to make the screwing easier and I'm using deck screws. They are just the right length, but they're probably just a couple of millimeters too long. So they are just protruding on the inside, but hopefully we won't see that and uh, you won't even feel it either, but it's, it's the exact amount. I really am on the edge of the width of the wood here. But this is me just drilling pilot holes and I think I like this part of the process the, the most. On the first bench of the L shape, I did actually have a, a panel on the end there, but I've decided to put the, the short bits in the middle at the ends there. It looks tidier, but it, no one's gonna see any of this anyway because it's gonna be covered by the seats. Great, now that I have these two trays, I'm calling them trays, next I'm gonna put on the four legs that will connect them together. I've got the Tour de France going on in the background just to keep me sane while I'm doing this. It's the final, final week of the Tour de France. done it all four legs are now on and it feels really sturdy so I'm really super pleased about that so next I'm gonna screw them to the other tray I don't know what you'd call it the other support will go on the legs I'll do that now as a quick time lapse It works, it works. I've just got two more screws to put in. Let's give you a close up on the final screw to go in. Okay. Uh, deck screw, just put it in here. He's done. So now, we turn it into an L-shaped bench. Yes, it's an L-shape. But we need, we need an L-shaped seat to go on this so we can actually sit on this frame and not fall through the middle. So I went with my son to the DIY Superstore and we found the perfect furniture board. It's like this, pine furniture board, but obviously it's not the right size. So we use their cutting service. I haven't got very good footage of it. Um, it didn't feel right to film it. <laughs> but I still wanted to show you us actually getting the board, but we got the furniture board cut to size. I am now about to find out if my measurements are correct. I've had to allow for this, this massive gap here and still have an overhang so it doesn't 
feel too flush, you know, it feels like a seat. I've got one long bit and one short bit, and even though this is the long bit and that's the short bit, I'm gonna put the long bit down the, the window side of the wall. I, it just felt more right doing it that way. Oh, here we go, so I'll lay down the, the long board on this side. I'll make it flush with the wall. This shorter one can go like this. Oh, it works. You can sit on it. We've got an L-shaped bench. <laughs> it's done, I've done it. That is the L-shaped bench that I've been dreaming about for about 14 months. I've got to do some other, other things like probably screw the two parts together so that we've got you know a continuous L shape that sticks and doesn't move around and I'm gonna get some side panels I don't know what to get maybe plywood to fill these middles and I want to put magnetic catches on here to use this as storage underneath but I am really happy with that also I want to cut out I'm gonna route route I'm just gonna drill some holes and turn it into like a hand grip in the middle there and the middle of that one so that you can lift them up easily to get to the storage but oh my goodness that is beyond my wildest dreams i'm so happy with that just trying to shoot it from all angles but there are only so many angles that i can shoot it from let's up the music give me some close-up shots the other thing we'll do is we'll probably we my amazing unstoppable wife will probably make some kind of padded cushion for that. I don't know how you do that L shape. I suppose you'd just do it with, with two parts again. What do you think? Would you have done anything different? Because it's done now. I don't have to worry about this, but leave a comment down below. It means so much to me if you're able to hit the thumbs up button because it helps other people to find this video. And if you're feeling even more awesome, hitting that subscribe button, it just means the world to me. Right here, is what YouTube thinks you'd love to see next.